EA have released a Harry Maguire player of the month. Yes, Harry Maguire player of the month. And he is absolutely juiced. Let me start off by saying I'm a Liverpool fan. But if any Manchester United player was to win a player of the month card, why not Maguire, right? The guy has gotten harassed and quite literally bullied for years on end. I mean, he was a captain, then he got stripped, then he got benched. And here he is. He's fought his way all the way back into the club. And even as someone who supports the rival, you got to say fair play, right? And EA have done him an absolute solid here and juiced his card. He's six foot four. He's massive. He's got great links. He's in the Prem United English. High, high work rates, which is a little bit suspect, okay? High attacking work rates on a center back are a little bit sus. If you've ever used Ramos in past years, you know Ramos could push up the pitch a little bit, but usually they stay back with play styles. Well, with um, custom tactics, I should say. He can only play center back, of course, but look at these stats, man. Look at these stats. Of course, that dribbling is absolutely horrendous when it comes to balance and agility. Probably because his head is so massive, he quite literally can't walk without falling over. I can't say much. I'm 604 and I got a massive dome as well. But 82 pace with 78 acceleration. That's quite a good pace split for a center back. And this guy's coming in here. Let's just check this real quick. He's coming in at less than 100,000 coins, 85K. And look at the like ratio. 12,000 likes, only 400 dislikes. People definitely think he deserves it. And the card is actually very, very good. But if you need coins, make sure you check out footcoinshop.net. There's a link down below. Use code SUS when you sign up and at checkout for 5% off each. Support the channel and you get some coins. But looking at the rest of the stats, his passing is very good. Obviously, 74, you see that, you're like, oh, that's not that good. But 85 short pass, 85 long pass, 92 shot power as well. If you ever seen this guy take a penalty for England, you know how crazy it is. His defending stats are kind of uh, slide tackles, whatever, which is very weird to me that his slide tackle is only 80. Seeing as, oops, not company. Seeing as how he has the slide tackle plus play style, how can he have that play style, but only have 80 slide tackle? I, I don't really know what EA is thinking with that, but his heading accuracy is absurd. This guy is probably going to be an absolute demon on corners. If you have him and Virgil, you're probably going to score every single corner you take. Defensive awareness is M, but with the shadow, which I'm going to put on him anyway, we'll see in a second. 72 stamina is terrible. A center back. You might have to sub him off. We'll find out here soon. 95 strength, 92 aggression, 90 jumping. As I said, going to be crazy in the air. Power header trait as well. They nerfed this, but I've been using other players in game. And even with the nerfed, I don't notice a difference at all. Long pass is good. He's got the jockey play style. Very good for a center back. Block as well. Very good for AI uh, defending as well. Because I know you guys are AI defending. Listen, we're not all manual defending nerds out here. He does not have anticipate or bruiser. If you use manual defending, what is it called? Um, If you use advanced defending, bruiser is very nice. He does not have that. I don't use advanced defending anyway. I think tactical is clear. And he also has the aerial play style. Like I said, he's going to be a demon on corners. I think he's going to be fun to try out. This is the team we're going to use. Hopefully, people don't rage quit. Maybe I'll throw someone in there at Cam instead of Dean. Yo, let's see. How much will it hurt Cam? Let's just throw Pedro in there so maybe people won't rage quit so fast with the crazy team. And we're just going to let him play. I'm going to slap a shadow on him quick. We're going to let the guy attack us. We're just going to feel out how he is on defense. And then in the second half, maybe we'll try to win. I'm only going to play one game. I'm on a very big time crunch, so I do apologize. Don't hate me. Let's test out Harry Maguire, player of the month, defending against. I'm actually excited to try out this card. I put a shadow on him, by the way. Wow, this guy does love an icon pack and SBC. Shevchenko and Russo, very interesting attack. A lot of pace, but not a lot of dribbling. I mean, let's find out. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play like an idiot and let him have the ball 100 times here. Because again, we literally don't care about winning. I just want to feel Maguire. Look at how big his head is in game, man. Look how big Maguire's head even, dude, he's huge. His dome is massive. You gotta say, you gotta say fair play. No way he scores already. Yeah, I was gonna say, be, be serious. That was elite defending. It wasn't. I mean, for 50 agility and balance, I would imagine he'd be falling over in game. Of course, his dribbling doesn't feel great, but it doesn't feel the worst. Let's try to ping one to the wing. It's a nice ball. That is a nice ball. I want to try to get some corners as well. That's a that's one of my main goals here. It's to get some corners and try Maguire on a corner. Hopefully, he's the one that's in the box. Yeah, give me one. Give me a corner. Good, 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 good. Let's see if Maguire is in the box. Is it Maguire? He's close. 
But I can't tell if that's actually all oh, he's back stick. Let's see if we can somehow get it to him. Here, I'll run in with him. Give me McGuire. Here we go. Some good power on the on the cross. It should be good. Let's see. Here he is. It's a good cross in. <laughs> I mean, no one even challenged him. No one even challenged him. It was bad, obviously. It was a bad header. But he is gonna be a menace on those, guaranteed. Here, let's see. I want I want him to Yeah, here we go. Good. Good, good. Attack. Attack with the middle. Come on. The AI Frankie Dion cooked him. Take the ball. Take the ball. Nice. Not gonna lie, he got bullied a little bit there by Shevchenko, but that can't be normal with 90 strength. I feel like maybe maybe his head was leaning one one uh, inch too far to the side. There's the attack hacking. There's the high attacking work rate, by the way. Ice through ball. Let's just hit it with Sun, just see what happens. It's not gonna go in after that finesse nerf. Here we go. Attack him. No, stop crossing the ball, you bozo. We want to see Maguire defend. He's only got one chance to defend. He was nine miles out of position. He's going to cross again, isn't he? Here we go. He doesn't feel that bad. I'm not even going to lie. You can definitely feel the pace upgrade. Because I've had to use Maguire in a challenge video before. You can definitely feel the pace upgrade. Obviously, the dribbling is not the best. Yeah, let's try to ping another long ball. Hey, that's a beauty of a pass. You got. I mean, that is a beauty of a pass. I'm going to do it again. Let's see. You can tell how much farther he pushes up the pitch than uh, company, though. That was me. I said I'm on a run just because I want to see him. Nope. Not there. Not there, EA. Yo, I kind of want Maguire to lose the ball. Take the ball. Take the ball. Switch players, man. Can you switch players? Holy. What is bro thinking? That's where that, anti that anticipate comes in play right there, though, so well. Maguire gets absolutely torched by Perez. I'm not going to lie. He got smoked right there. I made the tackle. Mainly made the tackle. He was in good position, and he kind of got smoked. This is more of a passion card, you can tell. Guarantee you can't score a corner, though. If you shoot at... If you send the cross and at Maguire, that is. I feel like not many people are going to beat him in the air. And that... What did I just... This is exactly why this review is targeted at average players, by the way. Did you see what I just did right there? Look at that. I made the pass right to the only attacker with no center backs left. Yeah, I'm trying to give the ball away again. Maguire's kind of 0 for 2 on 1v1 tackles. This guy would just take the ball. Oh my god, this guy's tackling the air. Oh man. What am I seeing here? Here we go. Can he recover? <laughs> this player is I'm playing is a bozo, man. He's definitely in my league of gaming. Here, take the ball. Take the ball. Are you actually serious? Here we go. Okay, there Maguire is doing a little bit better. That was a lot better that time. Let's get the ball away again. Here, take the ball. Come on, take the ball. Switch players, man. Oh, here we go. Foul, ref. Let him play there. All right, you know what? I'm R1 dribbling with Harry. Okay, Harry Maguire just might have absolutely ended Shevchenko right there. Cross it. Yeah, cross it, cross it. No. The one time I want them to cross... Okay, this is good. What in the world is the AI doing? What is Petr Cech doing? I don't know. Defending, I'm not going to lie, a little bit suspect. A little bit suspect a couple times. He's got great passing. The pace is very good. Defending... Mm, I think you really got to have the anticipate trait this year for a player to be an elite defender. He definitely is elite in the air. There's no denying that. Let's see what happens in the second half, but... I was a little bit sus by the vending there. Like with this AI, he does definitely track the runs pretty well compared to most. He blocked that well. He does have the block trait, so his AI is going to block a little bit better than most players. I'm trying to think of what other defenders have that trait. Maybe Vidic does? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But he does have that, so I guess maybe the less you control him, the better. I should have drug him over there. I don't know what I was doing. I mean, look at him dribbling. He's got 50 agility and 50 balance. Now, this guy I'm playing is kind of a... Kind of a stinker okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be mean here but he's a little bit of a stinker he might be beating me he scored a goal off me giving the goal not by not on purpose it was a skill issue by me but i do think if i was trying we'd have a few goals by now i'm gonna wait till the 70th minute see what harry stamina is looking like try to get a few more maybe try to get a couple corner more corners with him let's see if we can get a couple corners here we go mcguire versus shevchenko can we get a slide tackle <laughs> that's just <laughs> <laughs> that's my fault. <laughs> that's my fault. Hey.
I can't lie. That's on me. Let's try to get some corners. Get some more headers in. One thing I am going to say that I've noticed about him defending is that if you go in for a tackle, he's really going to go in for the tackle. He's going to fully commit. So if you make a bad tackle, he is not recovering. And that also probably has to do with his agility and balance. My man is not going to recover after going for the tackle. There's just no way. Even with this pace being super upgraded, I just don't think he turns fast enough. Let's see. This also, he's very tired right now, I guess. Right there, I'd normally switch to the fullback, but you can't do that when I'm trying to field McGuire, you know? Send a cross in. Come on, try to challenge McGuire. I want to see him dominate you. No, that's a terrible... You stinker, man. This guy needs to lock in. He needs to lock in. Doesn't he know we're trying to film a review here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to... Listen. <laughs> He has to he has the slide tackle play style. I gotta go for slide tackles. Even if it's in a terrible spot, risking a red card, not even close to making the tackle. It's passion purpose. Run Maguire. Run Maguire. He's torched. You're definitely have to get him off the pitch. Okay. You will definitely have to get him off the pitch in the 70th minute. My man is absolutely fried when it comes to stamina. He's got nothing left in the tank. Here, one last chance, Harry. One last chance, Harry, to be a hero. One last chance to be a hero. Nah, he's offside. What a dingleberry, man. I do think this card is overpriced. Okay, I do. Even though he's an amazing card on paper, and he still is a good center back, right? It's a good center back card. In game, you saw the stamina get drained quick. I really, and I know that this is coming from a guy that does not get like rank one or elite, but that's the whole purpose you're watching this video. I think especially for the average player who's not going to be that good at defending, I really think you got to have anticipate on a, on a center back. If you don't have it on him, like obviously you want playstyle plus, whether it's company, Blanc. You might get a rare card where you could use Van Dyke, who's just very good in game. But look what he has. He does have anticipate, even the basic one. I think that's a playstyle that is very, very dominant in center backs. You just need it. Maybe not so much in the midfield, like a CDM, but for the AI on center backs, it's necessary, man. It's necessary. I saw in game many times where I know Van Dyke would have stepped up. This is a passion card. I think it's sick Maguire one player of the month, and I think it's really good for him as a person, because I don't think Maguire is a bad guy. Gets a bad rep in real life. But should you do this card on this game? 85,000 coins. If you have a ton of fodder you don't want to use on something else, I mean, go for it. But if you're very conscious about what fodder you have right now, I would probably stay away. Don't hate me. Okay, don't hate me. This is just my opinion. I have him done, obviously. I will not be using them though. It will be a Van Dyke scene, or it will be Vidic or Blanc. I think they're all much better, obviously, based on price. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like and have a good one.